Hello and welcome everyone. Today, we're sharing a special recipe for making various shapes of pastries with an easy and delicious dough. First, let's prepare the dough. We will need the following ingredients. Three cups of flour, one cup of soft butter, half a cup of milk, a quarter cup of sugar, one egg, one teaspoon of yeast, and one teaspoon of salt. First, mix the flour with the yeast and salt in a large bowl. In another bowl, beat the soft butter with the sugar until the mixture is creamy and smooth. Then add the egg and beat again until well combined. Gradually add the flour mixture and mix on low speed. Then slowly add the milk and continue kneading until you get a smooth and cohesive dough. Cover the dough with a damp cloth and let it rest in a warm place for a full hour until it doubles in size. Once the dough has doubled, roll it out on a floured surface with a rolling pin until it's about half a centimeter thick. Now, let's move on to shaping. You can cut the dough into various shapes using cookie cutters like hearts and stars, or even shape them by hand into circles and squares. Arrange the pieces on a baking sheet lightly greased with butter or lined with parchment paper. Let the pieces rest on the baking sheet for 15 minutes before baking. Preheat the oven to 180 degrees Celsius. Place the baking sheet in the oven and bake the pieces for 10 to 12 minutes until the edges are lightly golden. Take them out of the oven and let them cool completely before decorating. You can decorate the pastries in various ways. You can brush them with honey and sprinkle sesame seeds or powdered sugar on top, or you can fill them with jam or melted chocolate. There are many options, and you can get creative with your own touches. To keep the pastries fresh and maintain their shape, store them in an airtight container lined with parchment paper. Place parchment paper between each layer of pastries to prevent them from sticking together. A tip from me, always use high quality ingredients to achieve the best results. If you want to add a special touch to your dough, try adding different flavors like grated orange zest or cinnamon. In conclusion, thank you for following along, and we hope you enjoy making these delicious pastries at home. Don't forget to share your experiences and photos of your creations on social media. Thank you for your continuous support and following. We love you and wish you happy times filled with love and smiles. Always stay creative and unique in your kitchen, and we'll see you soon with new recipes, God willing.